We're like crying, laughing so hard. And the guy won't stop. He won't stop trying, getting them to sing. And as they're singing <laughs> louder and louder, we're laughing harder and harder because it was re. What's up, guys? I'm Don. Welcome to Rockin' the Country. I'm doing a subscriber request today. I don't know this song. I've done a couple reactions to Confederate Railroad, but not this one, and I don't know it. And it was requested by Baron Ortega. So, Baron, thank you for this request, my friend. I'm curious to see what we're getting into. I haven't done Confederate Railroad in months. You know, I think I've done two or three of their songs. So, it's a true reaction. I don't know this song. It was a hot Sunday morning, the middle of July. The choir was a singing about the sweet by and by. And everybody was a swaying. Sweating in the heat We all bowed our heads down As the preacher took his seat My sister and my brother Stood next to my mother In the quiet at the close of the verse And that's when daddy cut the big one At the Horn Lake Mississippi Missionary Baptist Church <laughs> Shit I said I did not see that coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they still have another minute and a half. They got another minute and a half to develop this high, high edge theme. My sister rolled her eyes back. My brother bit his lip. My cousin just behind us I would have lost it Whispered, hey, who let it rip? I stuck my face in my shirt sleeve I stared down at my shoes Lord, you could hear a pin drop As we stood there in the pew Ah, literally Heads were a-turning, eyes were a-burning Mama stuck her nose in her purse <laughs> After Daddy cut the big one That's messed up, at the man. Horn Lake Mississippi Missionary Baptist Church, he cut the big one. It was a stinker. Oh man! Then he broke the silence with a snicker, and us kids started laughing till we thought we was all gonna burst. After Daddy cut the big one. At the Horn Lake Mississippi Missionary Baptist Church He said the devil made me do it Mama said it was the little worst and That's why daddy cut the big one At the Horn Lake Mississippi Missionary Baptist Church I love that <laughs> you don't expect it. You hear a song about church, the preacher says that everybody bows their head and all. You're not ex I was not expecting this at all. Um the gold standard of songs like this uh that related to church. Well, you had with that the Mississippi Squirrel revival, you know that, but Lyle Lovett song titled Church. That's the gold standard because that had so many different lyrics and it went all in and out and it just took you to a different place. This one was just laugh. I mean, it won't catch me by surprise again. I didn't know what the big one was about, but I was not expecting that. I don't know. How do you even rate a song like that? It was so lowbrow. <laughs> And they, did a con and they kept it short on purpose, you know, but I mean, <laughs> what do you do? I, I remembered, I mean, I think everybody's got a, a, a story about a time when they were in church, unless you're Jewish, then in temple where you had a laughing fit and it was just so inappropriate, but that can make it even worse for you. 
because you know it's supposed to be the place where decorum reigns. But I remember one time my grandmother wanted my two sisters and my father and me to go join her in church. She lived in Staten Island in New York, which is where my father grew up. So we, one day we go, we drive the half hour, and we didn't normally go to church. You know, after 12 or 13 years old, our parents didn't make us go to church anymore. But my grandmother wanted to show us off, which was a mistake in this instance. So we go there, and I'm probably 22, 24 years old. And my younger sister's next to me. She's two years younger. And my father's next to me, and my older sister's two years older than me. She's nearby. And I just remember I'm looking up, and I'm seeing the choir. And the choir was set up with like 12 people on this side of the stage, 12 over here, not that far apart. And then the choir director in the middle, and he's leading them and doing this, and he's got a robe on. And the dude, he's up, and he's like going like this to this side of the choir, and then over here to these. And then at one point, he's going like this, like this, like this, with his back to us. And I just said to my sister, younger sister, doesn't he know he can't fly? And the longer we're watching it, <laughs> he keeps going and it looks that just the thought was so wrong she and i start we lost it we're like crying laughing so hard and the guy won't stop he won't stop trying getting them to sing and as they're singing <laughs> louder and louder we're laughing harder and harder because it was ridiculous but i don't think i've ever been in church where someone's cut the big one um, I would have lost it, though. I absolutely would have lost it if I had heard somebody fart in church to where everybody heard it. I, I don't know. I'm still that way. I'm still immature that way. I roll with it. I gave up trying to be immature years ago. Baron Ortega, thank you for doing that to me, my friend. I, I bet you've got a story, too, because if you found this funny, that means you're, you're connected to it somehow. I don't know how, but... Oh. <laughs> I'm not... I, do I rate this song? I should really put this one in the off the beaten track one. All right. I got a really good laugh out of it. I'm going, <laughs> I'm not alone. I'm going with an 8.2. <laughs> Otherwise, the lyrics weren't anything special, but the surprise factor got me. So that's it. All right, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> See you on our video. <laughs> I can't even talk any longer. See you in another video. Have a great day. Keep rocking the country.